Hey, hi ho, cat guys, I'm Tangar Game Blast, and today I'll, today I'll tell you everything about EZPZ RPG. EZPZ RPG. And in this game, I am kind of experienced player. Uh, I am uh, rank 17 in Hunter's Ladder, and this is quite good result because I didn't donate to this game. I already bought once. Uh, R2 card for five dollars. That's all. So I am not donator in this game. I'm VIP 2. It's something like nothing. So I'll tell you everything. This would be full guide about all aspects of this game, which would help you. This guide would help you to be successful in this game. Do not make mistakes because this game is it. This game is about resources about management how you manage your character if you do it smart then you would be in very good position if you make mistakes it would be a bad thing uh, and also i want to tell you that this is my first character so i understand that it's not the best result because i made a lot of mistakes by myself and uh, these mistakes uh, made me uh, not the best player ever as you see so I made lots mistakes but still I am in top so guys I'll tell you about these mistakes and we would try to uh, make this guide very helpful for new players and for existing players so let's start let's wear our headphones for Diablo music music from Diablo so in this game it's zero rpg game uh, uh, zero playing game your character fight with monsters and you don't need your hands you don't need to control your character it's doing everything by himself so uh main thing here is to go through uh, to, to go to the battle in right location so uh to go from one location to another you have to fight with the boss for example, now I am fighting in location uh, Pain Spire. It's location for 89 till 92 levels. If I'll win fight versus boss, I'll be able to go to the next location where would be more powerful monsters and they would give me better items and more gold. So here, if you push push this uh, blue button you would see statistic in this location so i am uh, 87 level and i need nine days in such rate of killing monsters to become next level so 10 days it's a lot so uh, very important thing here when you start to play and from one level till 50 something like this you have to fight in locations which uh, has uh, like plus 10 or plus 15 levels from you for example when you are first level you have to fight with monsters level 10 or level 15 better so you have to defeat bosses and go next 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 location but at very high levels at 80 90 levels in this game it's become quite hard uh, it's got quite hard to defeat bosses so you see i am fighting i can't now i can win 92 boss but i have to do a lot of attempts so six level plus it's like optimal for high uh, level character so let's uh, go from the beginning from the interface and i'll tell you every uh, single feature i'll describe it how to make it right arenas let's become from begin from pvp arena uh, it's very useful thing because when you uh, get good pr good rank at arena you would get games honor and credits so uh, i was just uh, 12 22 level 22 rank at arena but now i am already uh, 64 so what you could do with it uh, my advice do not fight in middle day or at the morning because arena make uh, the make its result so every every evening every evening so here you could see server time it's now 9 31 est 
so when this day comes to end you would uh, receive these rewards so every night every night at 21 o'clock server time ranking rewards calculated that's why the best way to fight at the arena is to fight just before ranking rewards calculated if you do so nobody would be able to fight you back for example i just uh, fought at the arena 20 minutes ago and you see now i am already defeated so don't fight in arena at the evening or at the morning fight just before uh, 22 o'clock if you able to if not just as late as you can so uh, uh, here you could refresh your opponents for free so please refresh it and look for good possibilities to fight with the easy targets uh, at good price places i wouldn't go right now to fight some somebody because it's not right time as i said so uh, what better to buy from uh, arena shop my advice silver chisels and gold chisels if you just started bronze chisel too but at the end of the game you wouldn't need them a lot so i'll buy silver chisel and gold chisel for me and okay let's buy one bronze don't buy games only if you just started if you level 10 20 you could buy a bit of games but you wouldn't need these games sooner you would have them quite a lot so uh, next thing is guild you could create your own guild or uh, just join another one i created guild and we uh, we are not the most powerful we are casual guild but still we are at sixth place at our server our guild called russia so please join if you wish uh, guilds have their profit every day you could type this button to sing in and to receive small piece of resources you could uh, buy at guild shop several things but I'll, again i advise buy only silver chisels or gold chisels or bronze chisels so i'll buy silver chisel do not refresh uh, it's not cost of your resources so uh, every week guilds have their uh, fight so this guild war you could see how guilds uh, uh, fought so last time we earned like eight place but what i could want to tell you this thing don't give much rewards so uh, it's not so important thing in my opinion it gives some impact on your character development but not so much i have uh, I have guide about guilds. Please look at my video about guilds. I made separate gate guide for it. So if you're interested in, you could look. Shop. In the shop, you have to buy only 90% items, 90% sale items. So this bronze key, for example, it's not really useful item, but it with 90% off, it's okay to buy. Do not buy anything else. Do not buy anything else here. Because you would need crystals for uh, better things so yeah you have two main currents in this game it's gold and crystals so i need by the way to spend a lot of gold we would see uh, i'll tell you where to spend everything so in the shop don't buy uh, things which cost uh, which don't don't have sale 90 percent next uh, guild packs here you would receive some uh, nice stuff uh, when you kill boss for example so yeah you will you would see a notification about it so it's not not really interesting thing smell it's very important thing uh, you would find a lot of stuff from monsters in this game every time when you fight monsters they would drop stuff for you so uh, i advise smelt everything uh, every item except uh violet and gold one so uh epic i'll i'll uh show you so violet items it's like prayer 
maximum and maximum it's orange so orange it's the most powerful items and don't uh, uh, no 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 you have to smelt you have to smelt uh, these items so let me show uh, from the beginning I'm sorry guys small uh, misunderstanding here if you would push uh, in settings this uh, button at the upper right corn upper left corner if you put this button you would see here settings go to the settings and here you could make uh, after sell option so you have to put it like this after sell common uncommon and rare things epic stuff you don't have to sell because epic stuff you have to smelt because when you smelt something it has chances to become uh, uh, gold stuff or even relic so uh, you need to smell items because you would use these crafting points in crafting so you would be able to craft gold relics we will talk about relics soon it's one of the main aspect of this game so it's very important don't go away <laughs> yeah we will talk about it soon so uh next thing it's team battles you would be able to go to team battles from like i do not remember maybe 35 maybe 45 level so here uh new if this is new feature x server tournament so i can't tell you much about it it's not available yet uh, MP dungeon. It's very important thing. Uh, you would go to participate in the MP dungeon. You would uh, win versus bosses, a lot of fights and etc. But main thing here in metal shop, do not spend uh, your currency at everything except items. So do not buy mastery stone. Do not buy manuals. Do not buy crafting po points. Because I have made a mistake, I spent 20,000 uh, metal for like mastery runes or such stuff. So it was really stupid mistake by me. We don't buy because you would need these heirlooms very much. It's top armor. So everything you have to go to this dungeon every day. And every day it's essential to have these metals metals which you would spend at the end game so do not spend metals it's one of the most uh, common mistakes ever so uh, here you could also go to old hills uh, for example it's pvp match uh, so just join it every day and you would receive some small reward another thing evil vengeance if you would receive vip 2 you would go there automatically so it's okay to give uh, developers five dollars i thought like this and yeah i don't need to push it push this uh, so i think like five dollars it's enough so you would be go you would go evil invasion automatically very important thing it's eternal war it's one of the most important stuff to do in this game because uh in eternal war you would receive creds as a reward and uh, you would need these creds very much. Ah, no, no, no. Yeah, creds. Mm -hmm. Because these creds, they are you, they, uh, you use it to craft items. You use it to craft items. And uh, so main source of creds to craft gold relics, it's eternal war. Yeah, so go here every day if you could. So that's it. It's uh, these six buildings. Then uh goals it's new feature uh, which give very uh, small bonus so i it's just achievement system like in world of warcraft and it's it, it isn't influence at your character at all right now maybe they would change it soon so chat in the chat you could uh write what what you want so in guild chat Another, so there is two types of chat and local chat and world chat so uh, when it's uh, written here world chat it means that it is local oh this is world chat when you push uh, no 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 now it's local chat now this world chat as I understand yeah this is world chat and if you push this button it would be local chat yeah 
So uh, this is guild chat, your uh, PM chat, so nothing really interesting. And log, it's chat. Friends, list of friends, nothing interesting too. Ranks, here you could find a lot of useful information. So uh, sometimes you don't understand which weapons you have to, how you have to enchant your weapons or which armor the best. So what you have to do, you have to go to the top and look at another players what they are using so when you uh, look at their equipment one character you look second character you could understand what you have to do with your weapon because people who uh, in top who top players it's common thing that they are making everything right or sometimes of course it's just players who spend a lot of money for example this guy she caught level 98 i think he just spent uh, several thousand dollars in this game uh, yeah because it's just madness what he has with him so he's i think main donator in at our server at uh, swampful uh, at uh, okay I, i'll write it down below the video so uh yeah check guys who are not donators and look how they uh, wear eye armor, what enchantment do they use and etc. So next thing it's events. In events you could gain some free resources. So go here and check it. For example, if you get any whip level, you would be able to get from here something every day. I am whip too, so it's just nothing. 50,000 gold is just so uh, good thing here it's Valku people who are like uh, VIP 10 with this 35 Valku every day it's just mad boost because Valku it's main thing and it's main resource in this game it's even more important than creds for example so Valku it's very very important thing so people who donate in this game yeah they would win they would win but uh, you have to donate very much to win. So uh, you see, I am not donator, but still I am at uh, like 15, 17 place. So yeah, it's it's not hard to be in top uh, in this game. So uh, let's continue. Yeah, you could buy games. I advise you to buy once at the beginning of when you start play, buy once these F2 cards and that's it. Or if you are a rich guy, you could buy everything, of course. So, because uh, this card will give you a lot of crystals, it will give you VIP too. So, it's kind of good idea to buy it. So now we could tell about more interesting features. Uh, at level 35, I think, or 35, 45, you would be able to go to trials. Trials, it's very interesting and important th thing. Uh, in trials, you would be able to fight with bosses. You have to do it. You have to do it every day. For me, I have three attempts per day. So if I uh, fight with it guy and I lose, it isn't a problem because I'll still have three attempts. So fight till you win. Why it's important? Because you would receive very good rewards like best manuals, best master rules. And what is very important, you would get star uh, weapons, star armor and etc. You see this star, this little star, it means that this is exceptional item. It means that exceptional item has a lot of stats. Stats, it's like, uh, you know, this strength, agility, intelligence, vitality. It's stats and uh, item with a star has more stats, like and twice more stats than normal item. That's why sometimes it's better to have uh, low level item like level 85 85 uh, item with star then have 95 uh, item without star so stars it's very important thing but uh, for example for a bow stars it's important but not so much because uh, next level item it would give you more main stat so damage main stat of the weapon that's why, in my opinion, um, 90 level bow without star better than 85 level bow with star. Because 
it has very important thing here damage so uh, it's time to, t to speak about uh, items but first I want uh, con uh, I want to continue my first sentence about these trials so you have to go trials and do it every time and also don't forget to complete all trials pre all previous trials sometimes here for example you see I didn't complete these trials but I'll do it one day because for this trial I receive very good rewards still every good rewards and when you begin when you uh, win in trial first time it would give you exceptional rewards very good rewards it would give you better rewards than you than if you continue to kill one boss you could just haste one boss for a lot of time and it wouldn't be so effective uh, sometimes better to go back and to kill everything for first time for once you have to defeat everyone then you then it would be good resources for you so uh, it's trials uh, then map as I said at the beginning of my video very important thing here it's to play in location which 10 or 15 levels higher than level of your character for example if you level 10 again I want to tell it's important if you level 10 you have to fight with the monsters level like 20 uh, uh, 20 yeah or 25 even so uh, at the high levels it's something like plus 10 levels or plus 5 levels for me it's plus 6 levels right now and it could be changed level it could be changed soon so yeah look at it very important thing uh, you could blitz you could fight with boss or blitz with boss if you blitz with boss it's very good thing because you would receive uh, item with a star always when you uh, win battle versus uh, this map bosses you would receive item with a star and items with a star again you see it gives you better uh, stats and it's very important so uh, accept it you would receive not only this item with a star you would also receive Valku look 46 Valku it's very important thing to have Valku and we would talk about it. so every day uh, every day bleeds everything which you could because it would give you very good items and very good resources then let's talk about items it's main thing here this is game not about fighting is this game about thinking you have to spend your resources in very right direction you have to think which item to enchant which item to make more powerful so let's take a look at item sheet so here we have socket socket it you could add uh, games to your items so I have not really good games sometimes here it's very long process to receive good one so uh, socket it's important to socket um, games which is your main stat game for me main stat as I'm an archer dexterity agility so agility it's my main stat that's why uh, till level 50 I think I got only one I got only one game so you don't need to have all games inserted before you level like 15 it's important don't spend your resources because at the beginning use only one game which fits with the stats uh, for your um, class it's very important because a lot of players they using uh, these games and chisels uh, for low level items it's not worth it because you would change items very fast at the beginning you would stop changing fast items like at 80 level 80 level then it's good idea to insert uh, games or to enchant to refine item very very much so at first do not socket stones except uh, your main stat stone then at sort this thing give you option to upgrade your relics what is relics it's very important stuff right now so please listen carefully uh, in this game we have two type of relics 
we have blue relics it's this one blue red this one for example this all two relics uh, all these blue relics and we have gold relics this is gold relics like uh this let me show you yeah this is gold relic you see because he is a yellow brightly and this is blue relic because he has blue line which going around so uh relics give you very cool buff so for example uh a rank uh, one relic at the bow or at weapon give you absorb two percent it means that two percent uh, in two percent chance you would receive all uh, um, all damage which, which you deal you would receive it back as your health so it's like vampire thing so it's really cool things and all these relics give you very cool uh, stuff so uh, what i could tell you uh, you have to collect all relics which you uh, could and you could uh, change relics you could move relics for, for, from one item to another so for example you found uh, relics you found let me uh, take a look uh, this is shield do we have anything like shield here no uh, and amulet uh, sometimes it's hard to understand what is it <laughs> this item okay it's never mind so if you found for example uh, 80 uh, 90 relic you found this item then you would found another stuff which is better you could transfer this relic this buff from one item to another so it's very important uh, to upgrade these relics every relic you could upgrade to double your power for example take a look at my bow i have rank 6 relic how to upgrade uh, relic ranks you have to push absorb button when you push absorb button you could choose which relics to absorb for example this one so you see uh, if i'll consume this blue relic my uh, blue le relic would uh, become uh, next rank but at high levels of relic at high level uh, ranks of relic you have to absorb a lot of stuff a lot of items for example for this relic level six i need to, to upgrade it for level seven i need to consume 12 relics 12 items with relics so yeah it's hard to upgrade your relics but it's very important so next thing essential thing you could merge your relics together so there is two types of relics blue one it's relics which you could find at the battlefield from and you could just gain them from another monsters or uh, also you could uh, gain them when you smelt um, your stuff for example let me check yeah, you see, I get Majesty Belt Relic. I get Majesty Belt Relic and I get it uh, just from uh, these items in smelt place. So, and we have gold relics, which we uh, could only craft here in Advanced Craft tab. You could craft these relics like this. Yeah, craft them. Craft them. So, it's very important thing uh, you craft your relics and uh, you have two types you could merge them together to do so uh, check relic which you want uh, to save uh, item which you want to save then you push merge and choose uh, which uh, thing which relic you want to merge with your so uh, I do not have another helm in my blue relic, so I can't show you, but it's very easy. Again, uh, you could, uh, for example, you need this helm and you want to, to merge relic to this helm. You type on it, then merge, and here you choose blue relic uh, helm. So when you merge them, you would receive something like this. You see, this is uh, double relic item all my items it's double relic items because 
uh, it's very cool stuff to have it. So it has two relics, uh, rank five relic, which restore me hit points and uh, second uh, gold relic, which uh, give me physical resistance. So you could upgrade this relic separately. You have two uh, experience bars for it. So for example, for this helm, I have four blue relic. I have level five and I need to consume nine blue relics. And for gold relic, I got uh, level two and I need to consume only three, re re three but gold relics. So each relics in this item, they need separate relics to upgrade them. It's very important stuff, uh, but guys, do not uh, merge relics. Do not go to relic stuff before look before you like level uh, I don't know level 50 maybe 45 uh, because in in the beginning when you start playing a main thing it's uh, just uh, have. Um, I think at the beginning better to use games you have to um, use very good game of your stat and don't uh, enchant items so let's continue i'll give my advices later let's continue describing how you could operate with items so you could absorb relics to upgrade your relics in the item and you could transfer so if i'll find another bow which uh, is better than this one. I'll just transfer this relic from this bow to another one. So relics, you don't lose them. So uh, it's very important to uh, have upgraded relics and also these stones, you don't lose them so too. So at the beginning, when you start playing, it's good to have some gems. Uh, next thing, it's enchants. Enchants, it's very important thing because uh, when you enchant item, you increase its main stat. So uh, main stat like 15%. For weapon, main stat is damage. So you see my bow, 11 level enchant. So these uh, numbers at the corners of items, look, corner of item plus 11, you see? This is a uh, level of enchant and item and it give you huge boost for main stat for damage it's like uh, like 200 percent or even more damage we increased from uh, this enchant it's important to enchant weapon in my opinion but at low level again do not enchant much uh, all your stuff just maybe weapon a bit so uh, don't spend uh, this valku you could spend them all because uh, when you enchant something, you spend Valku. Valku, it's uh, like very important uh, resource, as I said before. It looks like uh, this. This is Valku. Uh, so you would receive Valku mainly from your... When you defeat boss, when you defeat boss at map, you would receive Valku in gift packs here. Uh, not with gift packs, but... Uh, you, you understand yeah in this place so uh, another thing is you would receive Valku from the blitz boss blitzes and also from events you could find some Valku so Valku it's very rare thing and uh, you need you need a lot of it and you could restore Valku so when I smelled this item enchant item if I'll smell it I'll receive all Valku which I spent on it so it's good to have all Valk used some, somewhere as, and as I said, it's better to use it at the beginning of the game, it's better to use it on weapon. And soon you need to enchant everything. Why? Because uh, your relics work very interesting, um, very interesting... Uh, <laughs> your uh, relics works in a inter very interesting way. Uh, so when you enchant your item, for example, my rank, my relic rank six here, when I enchant my item still six, my relic get doubled. So it, at round six, it give me more gear, like plus 
18 magic find and with enchanted to level 6 I'll get uh, plus 18 more so I have 36 magic find from this uh, this relic and it's cool if I'll enchant uh, re relic la rank and uh, if I'll enchant relic rank for example I'll show it you I'll show it at my boots you see I have here rank 8 relic it give me 40 experience but I enchanted uh, my items only till 6 level that's why I didn't get full bonus I get bonus only for uh, 6 so to get bonuses from relics it's very important you have to, have to enchant not only one item you have to enchant all your items uh, in we call players uh, experienced players called it circle you have to enchant all circle so if you enchant all item if I'll enchant all items till plus eight I'll receive full bonus at this rank eight relic now right now I receive not full bonus I have only 40 percent from eight level relic and I get 30 percent from my enchantment that's it yeah another very important thing at the beginning it's I think one of the most important things it's refine not much people knows about it who just beginning to play refine give you possibility to change stats at the item so uh, I could show you but at which item it's good question well, this is not really good yeah so uh, look we have here uh, several stats when I push refine button it's changed and it would change uh, you could change it a lot of times like for eternity uh, you could uh, use this blue button and spend gold for it so it's not for free of course or you could use advanced refine to uh, refine with the uh, games I wouldn't advise you to use advanced refine much uh, advanced refine is nice to use it when you already got very nice stats for example if I'll get agility with like 2000 agility you could lock uh, stat which you like and then advanced refine to refine uh, another stats how you want so main rule here to uh, have your main stat high as possible for me main stat agility for warrior it's strength for mage it's intelligent and second stat for all characters it's vitality so for me best thing is to have very high agility and to have some vitality intelligent and strength I do not need them at all so now I have to refine it a lot of times uh, to find very good role it's big work <laughs> but I have a huge amount of gold so it's not problem uh, at the beginning you need a lot of gold but at the end of the game you would have a lot of it and because of relic mainly uh, one of the best and rare relic it's relic on the ring and it gives you gold drops plus so try to find it and I get this relic very soon very late I get it like at level 75 I think and that's why I slacked a lot at the beginning but right now from level 75 I feel myself very good with it, a lot of gold so it was refined uh, that's it so uh, unequip and swap it's just you think I think you understand what is it so uh, what about stats again you have to refine your items like this you see my main stat agility and secondary stat is vitality so agility maximum and some vitality intelligence and strength you of course you would need intelligence and strength if you would uh, push this blue button blue arrow you would you would see that you need uh, for example strength for I need it for have some plus heat uh, and also intelligent give me uh, mana regen and magical resistance but it's not really uh, important for archer so yeah forget about it uh, have try to have as much main stat as you could 
So uh, this is your inventory and if you would uh, take a look at these items, at the beginning you will have a lot of these uh, letters. I have special video about these letters, check it out here. So uh, what we could uh, discuss, it is stones which you could upgrade and they wouldn't uh, disappear after you remove them from the items as I said. So, But they don't give you a huge amount of bonus. So try to have uh, stones for your main stat only at the beginning. So uh, sometimes you would find um, boxes, but if you do not have key in your inventory, this box just disappear. So yeah, it's okay. These boxes don't have anything useful inside. So uh, now important, very important thing how you could destroy your character very easily. Main mistake for all players. I'll tell you this mistake. Mastery. Mastery which opened like at 50 level or maybe like this. Mastery give you possibility to upgrade your skills. To upgrade your skills to make them more high level. And it would also increase their mana, po mana point. So how much mana you have to spend, spend to cast this um, skill. So guys, it's very important. Do not upgrade skills which you use for the bosses. So you have, every class have some skills which they use mainly on the bosses. For me, for example, it's uh, it's it's another it's PvP thing here, but uh, it's like raptor uh, like rap rapid shot. But mm, okay, I'll show you. Uh, big mistake here, for example, to upgrade shadow trap, because when you upgrade it, yes, you would receive some more uh, damage from it, but you would receive more higher mana point cost for this skill and it would ruin your possibility to fight versus very high level bosses. So I stopped right in time. I understand this error at my mistake. So I give you advice. If you wouldn't spoil your character with this uh, mastery skills, it would give you huge opportunity to be in top. I spoiled my character a bit. My character not perfect because I made a lot of mistakes yes as i said before but i hope you understand again do not gain uh, do not upgrade uh, skills which you would use for bosses at high level it's very important pvp skills you could upgrade so for example drain life i upgrade these skills very high because i use it only in pvp that's it so uh how works uh, skills mechanic. Mm, it's important thing to tell you. When you fight with uh, anything, you how you use your consequence of your skills. First, you use all your four skills: one, two, three, four. Then, your character make two basic attacks. Basic attacks without skill. Pam pam. And then you would start again to use your skills: one, two, three, four. Then again. Uh, two skills, uh, two times you would use basic attacks and ETC. So uh, it's how to win trials boss, for example. There are a lot of uh, bosses uh, which players, new players, they high, they for their, for them it's hard to, uh, it's hard to win them. For example, this one or uh, this one. So uh, you have to make your skills sometimes you have to leave only one skill so for example uh, sometimes um, it's very good to use for me for archer stealth skill with this stealth skill sometimes some bosses they could uh, kill you with one hit so if you use stealth they wouldn't be able to use their deadly skill which one hit you so you look which uh, skills these bosses could use versus you and you could make such sequence of skills which would block their skills or 
which disable them at the right time. For example, this is the more this is quite kind of popular thing. Maybe to remove uh, drain light from here. This is popular sequence. I'll show you why. Cursed arrow. When I cast this skill for three turns after this one, I'll receive bonus damage, 50 damage more. So you cast this skill. Next skill, it's another buff. For two rounds, I'll make more damage also. And then I have very powerful attacks. And they receive bonus from this one and from this one. Because this works at three attacks and this works at two. So it's very simple sequence. You could uh, good train here. It's to go to this uh, to PvP and to look at another players. Here you could learn how to change sequence to defeat guys. Because every uh, guy here in PvP he has his own sequence. You could change the sequence and people change it for defense for battle. So yeah. Uh, this is strategic game. It's not random stuff. You have to think here. You have to make right choice, right decision. And the last thing here, ally. Ally, it's very impo important thing. Uh, at the beginning, when you just started to play, ally, it's your better place to put your money. So you could train ally. ally. To train ally, you could use a lot, several types of training, but I recommend use only basic. I use only basic. I didn't use another one and I get very good results with it. As you see, my ally, I not the netter again. Maybe some guys would have higher qualities. I do not know. So uh, my strength of him like 3000. It's a lot. It's a lot because he also uh, receive some bonuses from uh, his um, from his uh, level. So every ally has ten levels, ten ranks, and you could upgrade these ranks with manuals. You would receive a lot of manuals, like uh, how much I have one one thousand five hundred pages. So you could craft from page. You could craft manuals. Uh, from three manuals you could craft blue manual and TTC so uh, from the beginning when you could start to upgrade it because it's very important to upgrade your ally so it would be more powerful because each level it would receive huge bonus of hit points you see plus 30 percent from it was plus 300 it would be 330 it's huge bonus so try to upgrade it as soon as you could uh, you would receive these um, resources for upgrading these pages from trials mainly uh, first trials they would give you just uh, these pages then you would receive a lot of money off, so it's not big problem to find them but about training when you just started to play spend all your money on training only on training of your um, guy because it would help you a lot every uh, guy has his own pluses and minuses you could go only with one ally at once so i am archer and i made decision to go with a warrior but you could change your mind for example some guys like mage or warriors could go with a hunter it, as you wish uh, but uh, when you train it, it would be your tank when you fighting with the bosses or in PvP. So it's important to have your ally good train it. Then uh, ally would have some skills available. So it's important here to have right uh, consequence of these skills too. So yeah, for example, this skill Thunder Blast it would. Uh, it has 50% chance to stun three enemies. So it's really huge bonuses. Bonus in PvP, in PvE, or Armor Breaker is one of the best abilities for allies. It give you uh, more, it give you 50% chance to reduce armor of uh, your enemy. So it's good thing. Uh, but uh, I think for 
some guys it's very would be very useful to take archer with sting because it give you poison and poison it's really important uh, thing and cobra stack also a very important thing to uh, defeat high level bosses so or uh, archer what i like uh, mage what i like in mage uh, it's for example ice armor i think it's one of the most overpowered uh, abilities in the game but you have to get till rank 9 this character but so but guys you have to choose one one ally and train only him and upgrade only him but when you upgrade it like to till level 6 or level 7 you may start to upgrade another one because of aura every uh, guy from here he would give you aura and this aura works even if this ally not active for example this uh, girl my hunter girl she isn't active she don't fight for me but she have this aura plus plus 10 hit for party because i upgraded her to till level 3 so you have to upgrade all your characters but i advise to make it first uh, with your main guy so he would be more stronger so guys uh that's it about interface uh let me tell you some advices here what i could tell you try to spend your resources wisely try do not enchant your and weapons or armor do not spend gold or resources at the beginning when you just started to play people who spent everything at the start they won't go to the top even if they donate a lot so who make wise decision people who uh, have stuff have resources and don't spend it at once in the beginning and use them later they would have more chances to be on top they would be more powerful so don't haste in this game think twice and then make decision it's main uh, advice from me so guys uh, it was quite a long video quite long guys so guys so please write your comments what do you think about this game if it this guide helps a lot i'll be very glad please write your comment uh, so i'll be very glad to see your comments here it was tangar game glass please 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 let's talk at the youtube write comments below this video bye bye have a good fight